Leon Gerard Vandenberg. So tell us about your uh, bit sim. Bit sim here. What? What? Let me just get a close up of this. This is a crazy thing. So it's a very thin piece of uh, plastic with a uh, with a chip on it. There's actually two chips on it. It's what we call our zero footprint sim. So the hardware is actually called a Z sim. Right. That's what we've we've normally called it because it it's a zero footprint sim. It fits in between the the original sim and the carrier's cell phone, and it interposes sim commands between the original sim and the phone. So the phone thinks that there's a sim there and the original sim thinks that there's a phone there. So it's a sim port redirector and director for sim commands. Love it. Also on top is a Java smart card. So there's a sandbox for doing financial transactions and it's an NFC sim. So we can do touch and go transactions as well. Wow. So we're converging both Bitcoin wallet, private keys, all under a pin um, with the traditional uh, platform for delivering financial um, cards, payment cards. And that all happens without carrier permission and without um, basically phone provider permission. So we're really the last hop-off point to the customer yeah. without having to play the game with the security elements on NFC phones and without having to play the game with the carriers. All we do is encrypt an SMS message and take it anywhere in the world where we can do settlement. Oh, wow. So you, you use SMS as the data layer and you encrypt that so that it's secret and uh, you don't need permission. Correct. So we're using, just like a set-top box on a TV, we're using someone else's infrastructure to deliver our content. Our content is a very thin payment message that will be a, a, a Bitcoin private key interchange. That's awesome. So uh, if I understand this correctly, it means that uh, Feature Phone, for example, yep. can have this sort of uh, functionality for conducting transactions that Correct. currently you cannot do. So currently Feature Phones are limited to a very um, uh, lame set of Java applets that might work on a feature yeah. phone and they're very hard J2ME. to get J2ME sort of the environment and most of the time the, the existing feature phone methods use clear text to send uh, airtime around like like MPSA. MPSA is really carrier airtime like Telstra airtime but sent mate to mate person to person in the clear. Yeah in Kenya that's a quite a famous uh, example of a, of a okay. digital currency success isn't it? I mean right. it's a uh, and so, uh, so our target markets are to to deal with mobile remittance in the developed world, and then to do mobile remittance to the developing world using the SIM as a transport layer, our Z SIM, and to make Bitcoin assets possible with that, not just currency but smart contracts and, and equities as well. Wow, that sounds really awesome. So, uh, just give us your URL or your contact details so anyone who's interested can find sure. out more. www.bitsim.co. Bitsim. B-I-T-S-I-N dot C-O. Correct. Gotcha. Thanks a lot, Leon Gerard. Thank you. Very good.